All right, so let's before we copy that over, let's go in here and do some some minor tweaks on what we did in the last video. Um, I'm not happy with this, so let's let's bring this guy. Let me move this guy in Y and then V middle mouse over this point here and do the same with this guy, this guy here, and finally this one. Okay, so now let me check that out. Let's take this guy here, move this out, and this guy, move it out as well. Take that guy, move that in. Yeah. Okay, so let's go with this here. <laughs> Again, that's something where you can get picky. So, yeah. So, w once you're happy with uh, what you did here, um, you're ready to copy that guy over. So, to do this, first of all, let's uh, freeze the transformations. And then let's hit Control D and scale that guy negative one and X. Negative one. So we have two objects here that we have to combine. So select both objects, combine those, and then go in here to the center and select all those words and say merge. Okay, and now we are. Uh, yeah, we can delete the, our um, reference cylinder. Let's just delete that guy. And let's uh, hit 3 to go to shaded mode. Check that out. Okay, we have one little issue. So if you smooth that, if you take a look and deselect that guy, you see this little problem here in that edge. So let's try to insert an edge loop to fix that insert it right here, so I hope that doesn't screw up our model. So definitely fix that edge here. Let's check out if it changes here something on the side. Looks, looks alright to me. We zoom out and tumble around a little bit. That's okay. That's all right. So yeah, we take this object here, and um, now we can uh, yeah focus on, on on this part here. So let me switch to um, uh, Firefox here again, and let's. So yeah, we we have we want to create this part here that's sticking out where those knobs are located. Um, yeah, let's try to get it as close as we can. Go back to Maya. Now let's figure out where we have to extrude some faces. So let's starting somewhere here and coming from here. So I think we take those four faces here. Oops. So with those it's not four faces, but you know what I mean. So let's let's try s something. So first of all, hit extrude, and then move this guy out straight here, and let's um, go to the side uh, top view and check that out. Okay, what we now can do is we scale that guy flat, with the faces still selected. Only scale those guys in uh, X uh, yeah, as long as nothing happens anymore. So and then you scale those flat. And now let's insert some edge loops here. So select one of those edges here and can go back to perspective. It doesn't really matter what edge you select here. Control, right click, edge ring utilities and split. And let's insert, uh, change it to multi and insert one, two, I think I'm going with uh, three divisions here. And now let's go to the top view again. And let's select 
all of those vertices. And again, let's create a, a lattice deformer on those vertices. And then let's uh, try with the subdivisions of, yeah, let's go with the six on, on uh, S. And let's also insert some, oh, let's just uh, only take uh, the S divisions of six. And uh, later on, we tweak that a little bit more. So with the lattice um, selected, go to right click lattice point and let's tweak those ver uh, those lattice points. Mm, let me select those three here and move those down and deselect that one or this one. So bring it into shape here as close as we can. Something, something like that. We could do is take those two guys and move those up. And now we do the same here on the bottom or on the on this side here. So let's move all of those. And then those four, those three, the last two. And finally, the last one, bring that in somewhere about here. Let's check that out, how that looks uh, from the perspective. OK, let's select the object and hit uh, 3 on the keyboard. Yeah, that's coming out nice. We have to do some tweaks uh, in that, but yeah, so let's try something um, when we take the lattice points again. And yeah, that's again something where you have to eyeball stuff. So it's tapering down. So let's try something with uh, those lattice points selected and let's scale those down and why. It's only a, a try here. Don't know if that works perfectly in the end. So take the, the those here, the last four on the top and the bottom. And then finally select the last four and bring that down. Okay, so not bad, not bad. Okay, so we get we get a basic shape here. It's still not perfect, but that's something we can uh, work with. So let's um, delete the history. And again, my Maya crashed. Uh, I, I had the problem, I don't know how many times. I think it's when I delete the history and it uh, has uh, something to do with, uh, with that uh, recording software I'm using. Um, so yeah, so I have to go in and uh, do the same process again to get to this point. But uh, yeah, let me pause the video for that because you've already seen it. And I'll be back when I re uh, redone that, okay? So see you in the next video.